was trying to convey about how old my granddaughter was, the world would probably be a lot better place. Um, I did a lot of these planning this year. You know, things could be a lot better for a lot of people. Um, she was an outstanding person um, with her friends, with her family, with everyone. You know, she was a star for everybody, I think. At 12 years old, Caitlin McKenzie was known for her big smile and big dreams. She had lots of friends to go with her extended family. One of the most outgoing, caring, loving people that I've ever come across myself. She was just a very unique spirit. Like a really special pregnant one. She was just the sweetest girl. She would always kind of anticipate if I wasn't feeling good, and she would bring me a cold washcloth, and she'd lay next to me, and, are you okay? And <laughs> she loved working with children and often talked of being a teacher, perhaps in special education. Her bright future was shattered as night fell after a day of swimming at the home of a family friend. It was about 9 o'clock, so he had a uh, homemade flood light sitting out for me at the pool so they can, you know, go ahead and swim and not step on anything and hurt themselves when they got out. Um, she got out, went to dry herself off, went to grab the lamp to turn it on to the trampoline so they can go ahead and jump. My understanding of what medically happened was when she went and grabbed the lamp, it was a low-grade electrocution, which conducted straight up her arm, and it just collected in her heart. And we're racing to the hospital, and we actually caught up with the ambulance, and we're kind of surprised. Scott, she's going to be okay. People don't die from electrocution anymore. It was just a regular outlet. She's going to be fine. We got there at the hospital at the same time the ambulance did. And when they pulled her off, I didn't want to believe it, but I had a feeling that that she might already be gone just from the look on her face. I was just on my knees in the corner praying. I didn't know what else to do. Never thought from a simple household electrical outlet that something like this could happen. I think that would never happen. That can't happen to me. You know, Caitlin's too good of a kid for bad things to happen. To God. What really hit me was the day we buried her, and it really felt like a surreal nightmare. And we were driving home, and in the park where we had a pinlight vigil, they were having fun days. And there's all these families having fun, and I just remember looking at them and being so envious, and at the same time, like, look at how normal they are and how normal their lives are, and our lives are just shattered, and we now have to try to pick up the pieces and live again. You don't want to lose your children like this. You don't want to lose your children at all. You do whatever you can to keep it from happening. Caitlin's family is now dedicated to preventing electrical accidents in her memory. To make people aware of the importance of using ground fault circuit interrupters, or GFCIs, on outlets outside as well as inside the home near sinks and wet areas. And more than that, they seek to promote knowledge of how to stay safe around electricity. Knowing the way I felt or still feel when I was going through this is not something I'd wish on anybody else at all. So if I can use this to educate others and inform others, hey, this may be in the back of your mind, but believe me, it was mine also, but now it's in the forefront. I want to let as many people know, be careful learn, teach, you know, because I don't want this to happen to anyone else. Working with the Safe Electricity Program, they've helped to create the TLC Public Service Campaign. In it, they urge people to teach what you know, learn what you need to, and care enough to share it with those you love. And we need to be smart around electricity now. I wish we really would build West Point home to see it when we knew it, but I don't think we've talked about it regularly enough. You know, not like, you know, you tell your kids don't talk to strangers, don't go to school today, sleep with the Lord, all that kind of stuff. But how many times do we tell her, you know, be careful when you plug in plugs or flip on switches or mess with your kids. If you're not educated about electrical safety yourself, become educated and educate your children, your grandchildren, nieces, nephews, anybody that you can to keep this from from happening to their families, because I would never wish this upon anyone, ever. For Caitlin's sake, teach what you know, use the resources on this website to learn what you need to, and care enough to share it with those you love.